welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on lifestyle. I do makeup tutorials, clothing hauls, skincare videos, but today we are doing a January Essentials. It's pretty much a monthly favorite that's everything I've been loving and essentials that I think that you need. So if you guys want to see, then please keep watching. Okay guys, I am super excited to get into this video. This is actually how I kind of first started my channel was by doing monthly favorites and I just love those videos. I love to see what everyone's been loving and what they love to shop. So I'm super excited to get into this video. So because it is January, I feel like we should start with something kind of like motivational, anything that's kind of gotten us like in the spirit to work. <laughs> so the first thing I want to share is this planner. I got this one on Target. It's by Russell and Hazel. I love it. I love getting a new planner in the beginning of the year. It just sets the tone. It keeps me organized and I'm old school. Like I love to write out <laughs> my things. I'm not really a Google Calendar type of a girl. So I love this one especially because well, it's cute. It has stickers and I love that it has the month in the front and then it's weekly. So I love that every day you can write down what you have going on and then it has a goal of the week, notes, priorities, um, tasks for next week and a to-do list. So I love that it just keeps everything very organized. You can see I'm into the second week. I've been using this up. I love it. It's my go-to. And because, like I said, I like to write, I just want to get this new pen. I'm like, I'm very like inspired by my surroundings. So like if I see something kind of creative or cute, like I want it. So I love this pen. I got it off of Amazon and it just says, as if, and I love it because it just feels like very like 90s trend with like the fluffy top and it's pink. The ink is black though, but I love it. I think it's super cute and just inspires me to write. And if you guys didn't know, I did start a blog last year. I'll leave it linked right here for you guys. It's called The Unraveled Beauty. And I love try. I don't know if that's something that you guys know. Um, especially because I started with YouTube first and then I launched the blog. But the blog is just on lifestyle. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys to check out. So part of this year I told myself to free write for 15 minutes a day so just write about anything like it doesn't have to be lifestyle related it could be how I'm feeling and kind of be like journaling and give you my to-do list it can be anything so with that said I went ahead and got another notebook I think this one's from Bando it's from the front it says going places I love it because it's just this big notebook ton of paper I can write down all my lists or anything that I have going on so like I said it's just a goal of mine to write for 15 minutes a day on anything or I even consider like taking notes, writing. So to me, it just kind of gets the juices flowing. It gets me creative. So that has been part of my daily routine has been writing in this and I've been loving it. So between the planner and the notebook, I just feel a lot more organized, a lot more creative and I just feel like I can get going. So that's why I love that stuff. And then on my desk, I do have this notepad. It just says Productive AF. I got Again, I got this one off of Amazon. And I just like that this is like my daily like task and list of things that I need to get accomplished. I like that it has a must get done today. So it's like your priorities, the to-do list, and to buy. Um, and then at the end of the day, you have to like put a check mark if you think that you did an outstanding job, a satisfactory job, or a standard job. So I do like that. I just feel like it keeps you accountable. And like I said, I just love like writing and I love stationery. So to me, I picked up these things because I felt like it got me creative, it got me going, so that's why I really like this stuff. And while we're talking about like productive and work things, the next monthly essentials that I need are my blue light glasses. I'm always talking about these on my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram link down below for you guys. It's just at Bianca.Janelle. Um, I need these. I'm on the computer all day. And last year I finally treated myself to a Mac, so <laughs> I have this huge screen where I'm editing and working and it's just a lot on my eyes and then between the phone and everything. So I wear these on the daily. I really, I really like these. These are from um, Key. I just have these brown ones. Sorry, they're like really smudged and dirty. I usually, these are usually my go-to. I like wearing these. And then if I just want to switch it up a little bit, um, I have these like black cat eye ones. They're super cute. I really like them because I feel like they're super like trendy as well. So you don't even just need them to do your work on the computer you can like totally wear them out with an outfit so I think that these are part of like an essential of like my workflow um if you guys actually want to see a video on that just like maybe an essentials to my workflow or just like how I get my work done or prioritize then leave in the comments down below because I kind of feel like that would be a fun video to shoot the last portion of like the workflow essentials are 
books. I love books and I told myself I have to read two books a month and it can be on any topic um just whatever I feel like would interest me so the first book I have is Ageless Beauty I love this book so far I'm like already yeah I'm about halfway through it's like a mixture of skincare plus family tradition um I love that the author like really incorporates like family traditions or things that been passed down to her that she's learned in skincare so to me that's just super interesting um so I've really been enjoying this one I probably will finish this one sometime this week and then the second book I got is The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday I have not started this I'm probably gonna start this this weekend I'm excited again so to me like I wanted to pick two books like one just something random like I love skincare so I picked a book on skincare and then something I wanted something to inspire me and I always feel like I hear a lot from Ryan Holiday I've heard him on podcasts before I believe I'm subscribed to his um I believe I'm subscribed to his blog um and I just like the way he writes I follow him on Instagram so I was super excited to pick up this book um and that is something I'm going to start incorporating into my blog I want to incorporate kind of like a book club in a way um let you guys know let you guys know the books that I'm reading and loving so I feel like I will share more of an update on the blog and that's also why I created the blog um because I feel like I can get out writing and photos a lot faster than videos I'm still gonna be uploading twice a week on YouTube that's not going to change I love YouTube but more I want the blog to be kind of like a follow-up of what I'm doing or what I'm loving um, I'll have everything linked there for you guys so again if you guys want to check that out it's linked down below now let's move on to some lifestyle stuff and then afterwards we'll go over beauty because that's always my favorite um, the only thing I did not incorporate into this January essentials is clothing but I think I want to do that a whole totally separate I think I want to do starting every month I want to do an essentials for just like lifestyle things that I'm loving and then a fashion essentials so let me let me know what you guys think about that so the next in lifestyle I wanted to talk about first is vital proteins collagen and peptides I have been consuming this all throughout quarantine um I'm like I said I'm very into skincare I do think that we need more collagen especially myself because I am getting a little bit older and that really helps it and it really helps the elasticity of your skin so this one helps skin hair nails and joint support it's grass-fed and pasture raised um, it has 20 grams of collagen per serving so I actually like to put this in my coffee um, I'm very specific on my coffee in the morning I brew my coffee I put two scoops of collagen one scoop of inulin and then in my frother I'll put my creamer it's a whole thing a whole vibe um, I usually post it on my Instagram stories um, maybe I'll even make a TikTok on it I'm very specific um, this doesn't have any flavor to it but I like that you just get to consume some more collagen throughout your day so like I said I put this in my coffee um, I've even put this in my oatmeal and my smoothies I know that some people make soups um, and they put it in because like I said it doesn't have any flavor to it it's just an extra add-in to your routine um but I, like I said I've been consuming this all throughout quarantine I actually think that this is like my third or fourth jar of it I love it another thing I've been consuming all of quarantine has been this mango ginger tea by Yogi oh, first of all I love Yogi teas are just super good um and this mango ginger one I just feel like helps like with any inflammatory problems um it says that it supports a healthy digestion this one is also caffeine free there is a very strong ginger taste to it so if you do not like ginger you probably won't like this one but i i love but i love the taste of ginger and it does have that hint of mango in it so it just kind of feels like a tropical tea to me it's actually very refreshing i actually haven't drink it cold but i feel like it would be really good cold so be, this is caffeine free like I said so what I like to do especially because it's been cold especially in January I like to drink my coffee in the morning that's how I start my day I get my caffeine in and then about like 10 11 o'clock then I'll go ahead and make myself this tea and it just helps me like work because I'm drinking my tea and I'm working I'm not even thinking about it also it helps that not just snack because if I'm not drinking something then I want to eat something I'm like it's either like I'm drinking or eating it I just can't help myself so I like drinking this tea this has definitely been an essential for me um again I think this is like my fifth or sixth box of this tea I'm super obsessed with it very good um and then speaking of snacks like I said I'm a big snacker 
So I just wanted to mention these Smart Sweets. They're so good. They only have three grams of sugar. That's what I actually like about them. So I don't feel like as bad snacking on them. They are also plant-based. Um, so, super good. So this one is the Sweet Fish. So it's kind of like, not a dupe because it's not it it's like a swedish fish like the candy swedish fish that's exactly what it tastes like super good and then i also have the peach rings right here these are bomb if you love peach rings these are super good so i like it just because it's super low and sugar so like i said i don't feel bad and because it is january and essential to me is kind of getting my health back in gear i'm trying to eat better work out more you know the whole shipping um so when i do want to treat myself i go ahead and grab one of these they're super good again i've gone through plenty of these these are really good and i just get mine at target if you're curious okay but so now let's get to the beauty part of this video my beauty essentials um let's go ahead and start with hair first um scrunchies scrunchies are an essential to me um i don't really like to use i don't really like to tie my hair up with regular hair ties um the only time i do that is for the gym because i just want my hair like held tight back um but throughout the day i'm usually in a scrunchie and these are just super cute i mentioned these a lot in my gift guides um last month they are the scrunch i think they're called scrunchies or by scrunchies um and they were sold at target they came in a pack but target always has a ton of scrunchies to choose from this one is by Kiddish. It's this huge jumbo scrunchie. It's polka dot. I love these neutral colors. Like I said, I'm usually in black neutral colors. So that's kind of like the scrunchie that I go for. But scrunchie, but scrunchies, but scrunchies are an essential to me. I live in them. Um, I probably have about like 50 in my drawer because um, I can't stop buying them because I just think that they're super cute. They're a really cute accessory or even I like to wear them on my wrist just kind of like jazz up my outfit. Um, sometimes I just think it's kind of fun but scrunchies are definitely an essential to me. Okay the next essential I have is this curling iron right here by Hot Tools. You can see it's this jumbo two inch curling iron. It's what I used on my hair today and I just did a tutorial on this. I'll link it above for you guys. I am so obsessed with this i love that it kind of just gives you like this really loose oh, my battery's dying hold on okay i'm back i'm sorry if my battery died um i think the last thing i said is i linked the tutorial for you guys um but i have been loving this like i said it kind of just kind of gives my hair this like light wave i'm not really i haven't really been into the tight curls as much um since i've had this i kind of like wear my hair a little straight just with a little wave to it I am wearing extensions, um, and I also wore my extensions when I filmed that tutorial. I let you guys know that in the video. Um, but I just love this. has been my go-to curling iron. Um, super easy to use. It is a little bit heavy. Um, that doesn't bother me. It's not that heavy. But um, it's a two-inch barrel. My favorite. Again, this has definitely been an essential when styling my hair. Okay, the next thing I wanted to mention was a makeup essential. Um, this one is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Pressed Powder. Oh my gosh. She's a little bit pricey, but worth the money. I have been obsessed with this powder since I think I got this last summer. Um, and I just ordered a new one. So it did last a very long time. It's just... Well, I have it on my face today, so if you think my makeup looks good, it's because of this. I focus this really in my T area. Um, it really helps combat oil. It gives this really flawless finish. You can see it looks very smooth on the skin and never looks cakey. Even like at the end of the day, I just kind of want to touch up a little bit. I'll put this powder on. It never looks cakey or like you built on it. It's just super soft and flawless on the skin. I've been raving about this to everyone that I know. Um, when anyone asks me any makeup recommendations, this is the first one I say. I'm completely, I'm completely obsessed with it. It is definitely a makeup essential for me. Okay, now let's go. Ooh. Okay, so now let's go over some body essentials. I have been obsessed with Lux Unfiltered. Um, I bought the tanning lotion um, or tanning cream back in summer. <sighs> Another flawless product. I love the way it just looks on your skin. The color payoff is so beautiful. No, I am not wearing it today <laughs> because I am get, I am doing laser treatments. Um, I'll mention that in a video soon. Um, so I have not been using the tanning cream just because you can't do both. Um, 
but regardless it is just super stunning and beautiful um if you just really want a sun-kissed glow this is perfect you can build on it that's actually what i love about this and it never looks streaky it comes off pretty evenly i'm super obsessed with this so because i was super obsessed with the tanning cream i saw that she had came out with a body like exfoliating um scrub and just a body cream um i don't have the scrub yet i will be ordering that soon but i got the body cream in the scent sandal oh my gosh first of all it just smells so clean and fresh and clean and fresh it's just it's super good i love the scent of this stuff and the formula is amazing it just like melts into your skin and it just gives you like this really healthy look and glow i'm super obsessed with it um i've been using it every day since my body just literally soaks it up like my body is literally in heaven when i put it on but you can kind of see this kind of has like this really nice glow to it it's a very refreshing scent i'm super obsessed with it it does say that it has jojoba oil squalene shea butter vitamin c and hyaluronic acid to give your skin all the hydration it needs daily like i said my skin just soaks it up it's super obsessed with it and that's how the tanning cream is too it's very hydrating like i've used other tanners and they just dry out my skin this does not do that and the reason why she made the body cream is to help preserve your tan so together they go perfectly so i'm actually super excited to give myself a tan and then to sustain the tan then you use the body creams i forgot to mention this in my makeup essentials um it is the ardell naked lashes um these are 421 they're what i'm actually wearing today you can see that they are a very natural lash they're super lightweight this is all i've been gravitating towards in quarantine um i've been wearing my makeup very natural i like the very natural glam look even during the holidays this is what i wore like i said especially because they are just super lightweight i totally forget that i have them on i can wear them all day they don't budge they're just super fluffy and light these literally have been an obsession every time i go to target i pick up one or two of these um they're literally my favorite okay let's get into some skincare my favorite i saved it for last because it's the best um first i wanted to mention the ule hendrickson banana line so i have the banana sea rush brightening gel cream and the banana bright eye cream if you guys have been watching some of my recent makeup tutorials you see these in almost every video first of all i am an oily girl and I don't feel like this helps produce any more oils into my skin. I wear, like I said, I wear, it, like I said, it wears very well underneath my makeup. I'm just super obsessed with these. I gravitate towards these all the time while I'm doing my makeup because I know my makeup will hold and withstand with these products. Um, so super obsessed. Oh, and I love the eye cream. I do feel like it just brightens up underneath your eyes. It gives you this really, really pretty glow. So I suggest trying these also another skincare tip or hack um that i've mentioned before whenever you're trying out new skincare or even makeup buy it in the travel size first so these are actually just the travel size versions i will be buying the bigger versions um because i do love them but that's how i find out if i really like something um i'll buy it in travel size and if i love it and i'm obsessed with it then i buy it the full size thing because i know that i will go through it but if you're into trying skincare or makeup like I am, then I'm, like I said, buying travel size is always great. It's a great option just because one, it's less money. Um, but two, you can really tell if you're even going to like the product. I would hate to buy something and then not use it up. So that's just a little hack for you guys. And then the next product I want to talk about was Ule Hendrickson Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. I actually just got this last week. Obsessed with it. My skin has never looked so like glowy and bright <sighs> this is a real a gem i'm like why haven't i known about this like all my life um i like it because you actually pour it into your hands first and then you warm it up between your fingers and then you rub it into your skin in circular motion so i feel like that helps like with the lymphatic drainage in your skin it helps press the product deeper into your skin i'm just super obsessed with this 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 has rose hip oil and oh, buttery fingers from the cream this does have rose hip fruit oil in it i think that's just what's like promoting this like really beautiful glow in my skin 
it's very hydrating i only recommend using this at night especially if you're oily because it's a dense but my skin loves it and the next day I, like i said i just have like this really healthy glow if i do say so myself and i just again super obsessed it's definitely an essential in my skincare and then to finish off this video we were talking about lip products if you guys have been following me for a while you know i love lip products they are my favorite so i have to end on that note um it is the glow recipe lip pops oh super obsessed so i got this in the beginning of quarantine well not this one this is already my fourth purchase of this one and i like it because it has like these very you can't even see them they're like these little exfoliating beads so it makes your lips super smooth you do not have to rinse it off it just like disintegrates on its own it leaves my lips so hydrated and like refreshed um this is usually what I keep by my computer um, and in my bag everywhere just because I know that it's like my go-to and it does like leave this little faint color. And then this past month, I finally got the blueberry one. Oh, I love blueberries. If you know me, like I'm super obsessed with blueberries. I love like the scent, the flavor, everything. I'm just like a blueberry girl. Like, I don't know. Anyways, um, so I got this one. This does not have like the little exfoliating beads in it. It is just a lip pop. Um, but my lips just feel so smooth and dry this is definitely helping me get through like january and the winter vibes and your lips get super dry but i don't feel that with these two um i'm always hydrating my lips i'm a big like chapstick girl where i like to like wrap lip balms or anything um but these are my two essential ones that i think that you need in your collection um super worth it and i think they're actually on sale right now but again i'm gonna link everything down below for you guys and i want to know what is one of your january essentials what is something you just cannot live without um leave it in the comments down below and if you like this video well make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye <laughs>